right after we started making Dante Nero, this popped up, and it's a video of somebody calling into another show. I don't know what show this is. We'll find out in a second. It's a video of somebody oh, yeah, talked about this. calling into another show as Dante Nero, but kind of doing my impression of Dante Nero. I got to let you know, he does it a lot better. It sounds, um, I, when I first heard this clip, I thought this was a clip of Dante Nero calling into a radio oh, show. Sure. Look what we found. The implications of this are great, too. So listen to this one. Sure. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is Jessica Jade Live. Is this a porn star? Probably. So what you're about to see is a video of what looks like a cam girl. Her name is Jessica Jade. And then you also hear off camera, you're going to hear her producer or boyfriend or whoever co-host, whoever's co-hosting this show. They're going to take a call from what's supposed to be Dante Nero. Let's take a listen. All right, 304, you're on with Jessica. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's Dante. Dante? <laughs> Dante Nero. Yeah. Dante Nero. I'm seeing you and, you know, I'm curious. Listen. Like, how many marbles do you have in your jar? And what does that mean? Hey, like, by like, the way. What is, what can I'm you... asking you, what is the value that you bring to a man as opposed to a different girl? That is a spot. By the way, mute your computer here in the back. Impressions, yes. Sven? That is spot he studied, on. He studied Dante. That is like almost as good as Dante. Now, this gets really bad. This guy really makes Dante look like shit throughout this. this is Let's awesome. Listen. listen to some more. No computer. I'm just talking to y'all right now. Are I'm you black? At work. I'm actually at work. I'm, you know, I work at Verizon, but I'm just at work right now. Oh, God. This guy's dead. Does he not sound like Tracy Morgan? Wow, that's oh, what we said. Dante Nero. I'm a comedian. I also do... A podcast called The Beige Philip Show. Beige I see, Dante. Oh, I think I know you. Wow. Uh, so see, you yeah, want to know yeah. what I have to offer? And... Yeah. Yeah. Much more than my appearance. <laughs> yeah. Much more than meets well, the eye, my friend. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's it's not about well, the beauty of the bitch. It's about the duty of the bitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> the duty. The duty. Let's get into what is the duty of the bitch. Well, see, you know, a long time ago, I used to do a little bit of a pimping thing on the side, you know, like a side business with the Verizon job. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just saying, you know, a lot of girls think it's all about looking their best all the time. And uh -uh. it's really not. It's about what have you done for me lately? You did? Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's like we go to your website and we look so at. This is it. why I'm going to continue to play because the producer starts getting really mad at who he believes is Dante Nero, and yeah. starts getting really upset with him. And what sets you apart from other girls? Because okay. I've seen a million websites like this. All right, calm down. This sounds like a bit. No, exactly, Tara really says, take her private and find out. Uh, what honestly what sets me apart is uh, the same thing that that uh, people connect with me on here, my ability to connect with people. So clearly, okay. there's a million hot cam models who can show you an amazing time, who have an amazing ass and perfect boobs and whatever, that are 50 times better looking than I am. But what keeps people coming back is just me. Wow. So my ability to connect with people, Ooh. my personality. Yes, yeah, sister, you tell them I got a similar situation going on. So this is what it is. It's the access. When guys feel like they have some sort of access to these girls, it doesn't really matter how beautiful they are. You know, actually, the uglier these porn chicks get, the more attracted these animals are to them. Yeah, because maybe. Yeah. They feel like they might have a chance. You know? But so I'm not familiar with this. So what sh is he is this show where she's going to show her tits or just people? I have get no idea. Somebody tits. sent me this clip. And when I went oh. to respond, it said this person, you know, has left the country. So oh. this is a weird show. I don't know. It's just a call-in live show. Ask your favorite porn star a question. So Dante uh, is going to continue his rhetoric 
Dante is going to continue his rhetoric. The producer is going to start getting mad at him, kind of throw a hissy fit uh, at him. And most importantly, he's going to leave the call thinking that the real Dante Nero is out causing <laughs> these problems. So let's hear this. Okay, oh, now, are you, I'm just curious. Are you, are you looking for any representation? You know, because... No, I'm not. This is clearly a bit. Oh, okay. I am no hooker, my friend. I know this is not a bit. I know uh, th you're from Periscope, right? This is not a bit for real. Yeah, you're from Periscope, right, dude? Uh, well, I mean, I'm from the Beige Phillips show, but... <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. you use Periscope to watch me, right? Yeah, well, I'm watching you on YouTube right now. Oh, okay. Jesus. All right. Yeah, I'm just asking. That's why I, I'm just offering my services. You're I mean, all, yeah. Well, I appreciate your kindness, but I'm not currently well, in the market for representation. Why would she need your services, sir? I do just find my own kind. You sir. fucking work Thank for you, Verizon man. Wireless. What the fuck are you going to do? Wow. Where's your connection? <laughs> Idiot. Huh? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. That's just you a hang on. job, okay? I work at Verizon. At Verizon but my main job is comedian, pimp, podcast host. <laughs> why, like, why, why would she pick you? Why? I'll tell you what. Why don't you send me your oh, website and I'll see what you can do for me. Wait, so let me get, let me get this straight. You have four jobs. You work at Verizon Wireless. You're a pimp. <laughs> You're a comedian. <laughs> former Pim. Former Pim and a comedian. In case there are any cops watching. Can I give you some advice, sir? Just pick you one thing and be good at. I'm beige, Philip. Are you going to give me advice? <laughs> yeah, let me give you some advice. <laughs> really? Let me give you some like advice on life, okay? You ready? On uh, life? Excuse yeah. me, I'm yeah. Dante. I'm Dante Nero. Okay. okay? Dante Negro. <laughs> let me, no. It's Whoa. Dante Nero. Listen, yeah, Dante Negro. Oh, my God. You can check it out. Okay. Well, we'll For go all check. We'll check that all out. This has to be a bit, right? I love how the guys in the porn industry have not gotten any sort of memo about racism or anything like that. They're like, oh, <laughs> you're more like Dante yeah. Negro. Okay, Dante Negro. And it's like, holy shit, are you like on the alt right? And he's like, what? I don't even know what that is. Just a nor <laughs> normal guy. That's how far back those guys in the porn industry still are. All right, let's hear a little bit more. He's very aggravated with who he thinks is really Dante Nero at this point. Yeah. You're doing three or four jobs, and you're horrible at all of them. Like, pick one and try to be the best at that. Okay? Stop spreading out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm right. not, I'm not you got to diversify, dog. The, the, the economy is weak right now. You got to diversify. All right. Jessica, you, Jessica, can I hang up on him now? She does this. Wow. Yes, she doing her right. Bye. God, she, this is your show. You tell me when to hang up. Uh, yes. I get myself uh, caught up with these that's, fuckheads. That's wow! Like a Tracy Morgan impression, did it not? First of all, like this producer, it's like Jesus Christ, man! Is this your first day on the internet? That wasn't even bad. I've never seen yeah. a guy like that. He's like, I can't take these fuckheads. It's like, whoa, dude. Yeah, he might also guy... be showing off to this woman. Exactly. Yeah. Am I nuts? I know the guy. Listen. For, and he's, is he, legit? he watches me on a Periscope or somewhere, and he he tweets with me. But he doesn't have a Netflix. I didn't know special. he sounded like that though. I didn't laugh once during that phone call. Uh. Oh, Tara! Tara is like making a list in my favor. <laughs> Dude, is it your this the goddess bunny? Because, thank you, sir. I don't know. Okay, so that was it. The guy uh, calling it is Dante Nero. I love that impression so much that I would like to have this guy, you know, call in and leave little inspirational messages as Dante Nero for our show uh, that we could play. Yeah. That was a wonderful Dante Nero. I mean, you could really move mountains with that one. Try calling some comedy clubs with that one. Is but it it's a, not a me. Head? I have no idea. I have no idea oh. who that was. Uh, I think someone sent this to me thinking it was really Dante Nero. Oh. <laughs> calling it. Okay. Okay, so that is, uh, I think that's going to wrap up this week's, this week's Joe Watch, the all-new segment where we cover Dante Nero. Lots of stupidity to come from the man. And shout-outs to, I forgot who made the logo. It was a Brandon or a Ryan or a Brian. He did a great job. Um, I'm so sorry I forgot your name. Well, beautiful logo. Great thing for uh, for Dante Nero. 
Um, so are you going to a party or what are you doing? I'm going to a little event tonight. A little event tonight Ooh, that I was invited. Oh, 